Okay, I just got a couple more things under the file menu to show you in this lesson. Under scripts, image processor. So let's say you wanted to, you had a, a large group of photos of different um, types, JPEGs, you know, PSD files, TIFFs. You want to convert them all to one specific file type. So you would select the folder that you're going to batch or process all together and we could save the items in a, the same location or a different folder we could pick there and then what do you want to uh, save them as? Um, you can convert them to sRGB um, quality level you can resize to fit by a certain pixel and width and height size you can save it as a PST PSD file um, so you could save it at, in multiple formats all at the same time if you wanted to. Every file in the folder you specify. And then once you are done with your selections, you hit run and it processes them all at the same time as a batch. So there's something that could save some time. All right, another thing under scripts. Load files Ah, there's one that's missing here. Let me show you because we don't have anything opened. I'm going to open a file that has layers to it. This one. Go down to scripts. Ah, you see export layers to files. So each, you know, this, you notice this file that we open has many different layers to it. So we could export each of those layers to a separate file. So what do you want to save those layers as? JPEGs, PDFs, whatever you want. What do you want to name the prefix for those layers? You know, woman DJ, you know, and then it'll take each of the layers here and put them as separate files in whatever type you want. So that's convenient. All right, another one. That was export layers to files. Load files into stack. Now this will be interesting. Basically, rather than taking a photo and dragging it over to be a separate layer, you could choose multiple files, like the fish, old image, actually I better remove old image because it's black and white and sometimes that interferes. I'm going to do one more. Ranch house, maybe. Palm tree. Did I not put palm tree yet? There we go. So whichever ones you want. Attempt to automatically align, create smart objects. No, I'm not going to pick any of that. You can add open files. Let's say we had a few files open right now. But I'm going to hit OK. And it'll open up a brand new document. And now each of those files, you can see them in the background here, even though they're of different sizes, it's taken each of those files and put them all as layers. So it was kind of the reverse of what we did a minute ago when we, um, when we exported all the layers to separate files. Now we're taking all separate files and putting them into one document as separate layers. So that's useful rather than dragging each one at a time, opening each file, then dragging it over into the layer menu here. You can just grab all the files and say merge it into one um, project and put them as layers. So that'll be something useful you're, that you're going to use under scripts. File info, you can tag your each file um, with a plethora of detail. Document title, author, author title, description, description writer, keywords, copyright information, um, camera data, shutter speed exposure, all that you can add. Categories, supplemental information, history, advanced, TIFF properties, uh, just any number of information that you want to record as data for that file. So there's another thing that you may be using on a regular basis. 
And then a couple simple ones you've seen in other applications. Page setup, this looks very familiar. Portrait, landscape, paper size, source. That you'll be using uh, when you're printing. And then of course print, which is not something revolutionary. You're given a lot of different options within the print menu, not like other programs. Um, you can scale it down, um, pick a specific width and height, um, let the printer manage the colors, um, let Photoshop manage the colors, and a lot of this is really going to have to be uh, experimented with. There's no rhyme or reason to just say, hey, pick this. This is the best one. Um, you're going to have to experiment. So this is where you'd be doing your printing. Then you hit print. All right, so that covers pretty much all the major things in the file menu, the file menu that you're going to be uh, most likely to use.